guys, what's going on? Just a quick video, um, and I and I'm really going to keep this one quick. So I'm shooting for like two minutes or less. But the uh, thing I wanted to highlight today on today's video is this um, this lace plant that I planted. I don't know, three or four weeks ago. Uh, it's shooting a flower, so that's what that looks like, which is really really cool. Um, kind of excited about that. Uh, it was just a bulb when I planted it. And you can go back and, and see the the video. You probably look back, I don't know, maybe 15 videos or so. And I can actually, I'll post it in the description for this video, but if you look, you know, I cleared out the place there and I just planted a bulb and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like nine or ten leaves shooting up from the bulb. And it's shooting a flower. So that's a good sign. Uh, and I'm just really kind of just pushing the uh, substrate and just how strong uh, that is. Uh, and everything's doing pretty well. The uh, big blue diamond is fighting uh, with the other big discus over a female, um, which is kind of interesting. But. Uh, Get the glare out. Yeah, they just want me to feed them. No big changes here in the uh, the spec five. Uh, I think it's still purling. I ha you know, I haven't really looked lately. Uh, yeah, sort of purling. Not a lot, just a little. Um, I need to try to trim that. I'm actually going to just try to trim it low and get it thick and low, and maybe where you can see some rocks. There are some rocks in the scape right here, and. Uh, Try to get it where you can see the shrimp. It's such a jungle you can't can't see the shrimp. And then finally uh, over here, these guys are doing great. Uh, the ick is all cleared up, and it just took some time. And uh, ick's just kind of the common cold. You got to be careful with it though because it will. Uh, if that parasite, and I'm over the two minute mark, but if the it's a bug that if it gets on their gills it'll uh, make it where they can't breathe and that's really the only danger with it but these these thread fin rainbows have been great I feed them brine shrimp and then I also have a new life spectrum pellet uh, that's like baby food their mouths are so small the challenge with these guys is really just feeding them but uh, their body language is great beautiful fish really happy with it Need to get a better camera to give you guys an appreciation for their color and to zoom in. But you can see I let the brine shrimp just kind of float there and then uh, whatever they don't get, the shrimp will pick up. But the pellet, this is the pellet that I'm using. And it's a new life spectrum pellet and it's for babies. Uh, it's called Grow. But the, the size on this, it's like a 0.5 millimeter. Uh, and I just sprinkle a little bit of this on the top and then we'll just uh, go and knock it out. But I do that and then the uh, frozen brine shrimp, that's really all I'm feeding them. And uh, these guys are ready for me to uh, give them lunch. But hey, you guys be good. Thanks for watching. And uh, <laughs> the blue diamond is... See, notice how he changed colors. See how he's... See how you can see the vertical bars in him? And it's because he's not the big dog. If he's the big dog in the tank, he darkens up and gets a dark brown. But if he's kind of in a panic, you know, that's kind of his, uh, that's kind of his, I'm not the big dog look. But uh, it's just so cool how those bars come out. But they can change color uh, pretty much at will. But hey, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a great one. Happy Wednesday. And, uh, you guys let me know what you want to see, but I'm just stoked about over in the corner the uh, brand new planted within just a few weeks uh, Madagascar lace plant that's shooting up a, a bud for a flower. So cool. Kind of excited. You guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Happy Wednesday. Later.